Hi, in this section, we are going to see about basic questions on conduct resistance. Regarding this basic question on conduct resistance, we are going to see a four questions and answer. We can see one by one. First one, we are going to see what is conduct resistance. Conduct resistance is the resistance to the current flow due to the surface conduction. The surface conduction is nothing but the contact that are touching one another. Next, we are going to see what is the need of doing contact resistance. Why we should do the contact resistance. By doing the contact resistance, we can able to find the loose connection between the two contact. The two contact are very loose. It can be find out out by using the contact resistor test then we can also find the tension of the bolt if the two contact are connected tightly and even the tension of the bolt is slightly loose then also we can able to find by doing this test and also we can able to find the corroded contact that means in any industrial area or in some of the conduct, it was affected by corrosion. If the corroded conduct is connected in the joint, then the joint of this area will have a high resistance. Since the conduct between this and this will not have a perfect joining, the current flow will have restricted over this corroded area. This also can be find out by doing contact resistance. Why the resistance is important we can see by the a small example. If the resistance high in the contact what happened we can see with small example. If the resistance increase between these two contact what happened we can see now. Let us consider the 1000 amps current flow in a bus. Contact between the two conductor is having 0 0.001 ohm. Then what would be the power loss? To find the power loss, we have another one formula W is equal to I square R. Here our current is 1000 amps and our ohm we have. When you calculate this, we got 100 watts where this 100 watts is the power loss is occurring between this joint. Same way if the same conductor same joint but the joint having some loose or it having a high ohms then what happened we can see the ohms value here in second it was slightly increased due to this increase in ohm our what the power loss is also increased. When the power loss increase then the heat dissipated over the joint is also heat increase. So in order to maintain this power loss and heat we have to make the um, home value in micro or milli very less home value. Finally we are going to see how much current should apply for contact resistant test. We have to apply current in terms of 10 percentage of rated current in the nominal current value of this conductor. In some extent the maximum we can apply only 15 percentage of this rated current. Apply DC current for this test. If you think this is useful for your friend you can share this video to them. Thank you for watching this video.